here. Today I thought that I would do a preview on the new Korean drama coming out in March titled Splendid Politics. Typically I wouldn't even be reviewing a drama that's about politics or previewing a drama because I wouldn't be interested in it, but it is a historical drama and it stars two actors that I have actually a lot of respect for, Cha Sung Wan and Lee Yun Hee. Now Lee Yun Hee is actually not really well known for being a great actress, at least not in the past, but as of 2012, 2013, I think it was 2013, she did, uh, she did Goo Family Book and she played Lee Seung Gi's mom and it was a really good acting job slash like really dramatic and all the feels and then she was in Miss Korea and she did a really great job in Miss Korea and like people really started to like her because she did a great job and she's partnered with Cha Sung Wan which you guys if you don't know Cha Sung Wan I'm sorry man is smoking hot he is also a veteran actor who's really really super talented and really really super smexy Jo and Sung Soji Sub Hyun Bin, Handsome Smexy. You know what I mean? This one is the story of Princess Jung Myung. Sorry, I have to keep looking at my notes because I'm like, there are long Korean historical names that I'm not gonna be able to pronounce if I don't actually look at these things. So she plays Princess Jung Myung, who is the sister of the crown prince, Young Chang. Yes. But the problem with Young Chang is he is too young. And his dad dies, so he loses the right to the throne. And she and her mom try to like put him up for the throne again, but Guang He, which you may remember from A King's Face, is taking the throne and they get rid of, they kill the younger brother and mom and sister Jung Young end up in poverty. Not only do they end up in poverty, but they go from like crown princess and queen to slaves. So this title is a little bit tongue-in-cheek. Splendid politics. Splendid politics is what brings her from being a princess to a slave. And it's like tongue-in-cheek and comedy in that it's not splendid and politics are actually really bad. But again, you have some really talented thespians in this one and it's going to be a seguk, a historical drama, and it's following Shiner Go Crazy. So I think that it's just going to be an interesting mashup and a retelling of a story that's been told many, many, many times in the K-drama world, but done from a slightly different angle. And so I think that that is alone a reason to look into this drama and maybe look at history in a slightly different way. I like history, so, you know, I kind of like this kind of thing. And I want, really want to check this drama out. What do you guys think? Is this the kind of drama that you think you might have any interest in? Is this look like a drama that you're like, mm -mm, nope, not gonna watch it? Let me know down in the comments. Also be sure to press the like button on this video, give it a big thumbs up, and press the subscribe button if you haven't already. That's it. Happy drama watching. Bye! The story of this one's a little tragic slash Cinderella slash like family issues drama.